What's up you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. This time I will teach you how to open line a globe modem 936. So what are the materials needed? So we have here the modem and of course the very important material or <coughs> tool is this USB to USB patch cord or adapter whatever you will call it and our internet patch cord of course to test the connection later if our modem is really open line and of course a screwdriver so that we can unscrew this screws here from the modem so before we start if you are new please do yourself a favor subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified every time i upload so first step is now we are going to open this modem by unscrewing the screws uh, there are only two screws for this modem and uh, we are going to open this front cover by using a flat screw And now we're going to enter the USB mode by using a any metal conductor. In my case, I'm using a needle. And our goal is to short these two ports right here at the bottom. First, you must clean the ports for dirt or any stains. Okay, so these are the ports at the bottom. And I will be mistaken. And so let's try for the first attempt. Okay, so hold it tight. And then put in the power adapter. Okay, that's a failure because the power lead must not turn on when you put in the power adapter. So for the second attempt, okay, that's a failure too, and we are we will be repeating this process so that the LED of the power must not light okay like just like this for the third time and that's a success and now our modem is in USB mode and we will proceed by installing the drivers okay so this is the USB to USB cord and look at my USB port is stained because of this use keyboard and use mouse so now we're going to go to the software when you open the software don't forget to open the read.me in notepad and so that we can give donations if you have to Mr. Joel Gracia and these are the accounts for the GCAS, Paymaya and for the coins 
in kind donation for this successful and very helpful program. And in my case, if you have something for me too, then you can send me my magic cash. Here is my number. Name is Vincent G. Okay. So I will give the description for this file from Mr. Joel in my description so that you can download the file too. And now if you go to the driver and install the ADV drivers. Okay, so just press any key. And the next is to install the Huawei driver. This time I am not uh, plugging in the modem to the computer. Because we are going to install the driver first. So just like any peripherals, after installing the drivers or any devices, you must restart your computer. So after which the drivers are installed for Huawei and I am going to restart my computer. Okay. Let's so close and just check the manage ports. Uh, meaning for the device manager I am checking. You will see this de device for Huawei in the ports. So we'll click on device manager. As you can see there are only two ports here for communication and ACP for the printers. When you plug in the modem then Huawei will pop up there. Okay, so let's restart the computer. Okay, so here, here is our modem with USB uh, to USB cord right here. For the modem, it is now plugged in. And after our computer restarts, And then we plug in the other end of the USB cord to the computer. So we're plugging in in the computer and you may open your device manager so that you will see that Huawei is detected in your computer okay lately you saw the you saw the ports only two from the printer and this communication port after restart and in the Huawei, this out model, the ports must be free for the Huawei our modem. Just wait for it to be detected, and you will hear a beeping sound as a new device is added to the system. there and it successfully detected by our computer 
so we can proceed to our software okay so we go back to our software Then this time we have this prepare folder. Okay, so I am opening again the notepad notepad for you. If you have kind donations for our master. Okay, so let's proceed to the firmware folder and run this application. So when this application runs, you must not touch anything. Just let the device do the work for you. I can do firmware. Just let the firmware be installed and format or reflash or unlock this modem for you. Okay? Just wait. It is still detecting and uh, it has detected our device and connected. Sometimes you will be stuck up in scanning device. So what you will do is to restart and install your the drivers for the ADB drivers and the Huawei drivers. So again. Yeah. The, this here so you might experience being stuck here for 10 minutes or about or five then you must install the driver and restart your computer and go back to our device manager to see if the modem is successfully connected to our computer So it is now starting the USB loader and it's a success. Right here, it's a very normal in this in this step here, it's very normal that our modem will show a blue light. Just look at it. Okay, so as you can see, our modem is now lighting. So do not touch anything. Okay, so you will see now a remote modem. Just wait for a while. 
because it will instruct you what to do. Okay, so it says press any key to exit. We are now ready to exit. Okay, so just pull out the power and return the cover. So I'm gonna speed up here because how we open the modem is a reverse way, and how we close it. So I am going to test if it is open line and I'm go going to connect an internet for this by default this modem is automa will automatically detect our internet so I'm gonna perform a speed test for this so this is just a glimpse of what we're, I am going to do later as this modem I will make this is my second router so that my neighbor can have an internet so look at the modem it's green light and I am putting in an internet now and connect it to, the, to my PC I will explain it in my next video and how I did this okay so it successfully open so our device now is an open line <coughs> modem and we can insert any sim card and right now I'm, I'm, I am inserting an internet for this and ethernet ports so that's it for this tutorial and see you next time